So let's talk about how to determine whether two lines are parallel or perpendicular. By the way, I highly recommend that you try out the free guided notes for this. You can go to divideandconquermap.com if you want to check those out. So what makes two lines parallel? So usually when I bring up parallel lines, people think of this. So it's just two lines that, that don't intersect. But from a mathematical standpoint, two lines are parallel if they have the same slopes. So that's kind of like what we're looking for. So just to give you a quick example here. So here I have a bunch of lines. So these are all parallel to one another. And you can tell basically like instantly because these are in slope intercept form. And in all of these, the slope is three. Okay. So now what I want to talk about is how to determine if two lines are actually parallel. So check this out. So I have this first line. So y equals two thirds x plus five. And then this other line. And just by looking at this line, I can't tell what the slope is. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this line into slope intercept form. So basically we're going to solve for y. So to do that, first things first, I'm going to subtract off the two X like so. So I get negative three Y equals negative two X plus six. And then I can divide both sides by negative three. And so then I get Y equals two thirds X minus two. Yeah, I'm sorry, that should be a better looking three. So the question here was, are these lines parallel? So I've got this slope of two thirds here and then two thirds here. So yes, these are indeed parallel. That's how we would confirm that. So now let's talk about what makes two lines perpendicular. Well, usually when I bring up two lines being perpendicular, people think about like this, where you have this right angle or it's 90 degree angle right here between the two lines. That's, that's usually what most people think of. But from a mathematical standpoint, two lines are perpendicular if they have what are known as opposite or negative reciprocal slopes. So just to be clear, I have an example of perpendicular lines here. So I can tell right away that these are perpendicular by looking at these two slopes. This is what I mean by opposite or negative reciprocal slopes. So obviously it's important that you're able to kind of quickly pick this out. So the first thing that I want to do actually is I just want to talk about determining the negative reciprocal just so that you have like a good eye for that when you're doing these types of exercises. So in the case of two thirds, so the negative or opposite reciprocal would be flipping the fraction to three halves and then adding a negative to it. So if it has a negative, take it away. If it doesn't have a negative, add it to it. So in the case of like B here, so if I want to take the opposite reciprocal, so this would be five over one and it would be positive. However, you would want to rewrite this as just five because we never write a whole number as five over one. We always just put it back into its, its whole number form. So that's the idea behind the, the negative or opposite reciprocal. So what would the negative reciprocal of negative seven be then? Well, in this case, it would be positive one over seven. And then what would the negative reciprocal for one be? Well, I could write negative one over one, but that's just really equal to negative one. So this one's kind of a little bit of an interesting one, I guess. Okay. So now I want to ask, so are these two lines parallel once again, so, or, sorry, perpendicular, perpendicular. So you can tell the slope in this particular line, y equals three fifths x plus two. But for this other one, negative three x plus five y equals negative 15. We can't tell what the slope is just by looking at this. So we're going to have to solve for y again. Okay. So to do that, I've got negative three x plus five y equals negative 15. So I'm going to start by adding the x to each side to get five y equals three X minus 15. And then I can divide everything by five to get Y equals three over five X minus three. And so in this case, so I've got this and this, so these are not perpendicular. So the answer here would actually be no, this is, these would actually be parallel in this case. So these are not um, opposite reciprocal slopes. And so this is the type of exercise that is very common when we talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. So I have this set of exercises here where the question is, are the following lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? And so you can see by looking at them that neither one of them are in a format where you can easily tell what the slope is. 
So in both cases, you're going to have to basically solve for y to get it into that slope intercept form. So let's take this problem and let's give ourselves a little more space. And now let's go ahead and solve. So first things first, I'm going to start with, um, oops, let me use the, switch to the white color. Okay, so let me start by subtracting off the 3x. So I get negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 6. And then I can divide everything by negative 2 like this to get y equals 3 over 2x minus 3. Okay, so now let's do that for this other one. Now notice in this particular equation, I've almost solved for y. All I have to really do is just divide everything by 4. So to finish solving for y, just divide everything by 4 like this to get y equals negative 3 over 2x minus 2. So in this case, the slopes that I have are 3 halves and negative 3 halves. So that actually is nothing. So this would actually be neither in this case. Okay, so now let's pivot to the next one. So once again, I'm just going to go ahead and solve for y in each case. So I've got y minus 3x equals 0. So first things first, I'll just go ahead and add the 3x to each side to get y equals 3x. So I can easily tell the slope of that one. And now for the other one, let me subtract off this 12x minus 12x. So I've got negative 4y equals negative 12x plus 24. And then I will divide each part by negative 4 like this. And so I'll get y equals 3x minus 6. And so now we can compare the two slopes. I've got 3 and I've got 3. So those are the same slopes, which would mean that this is parallel, two parallel lines. And so now let's just throw a curveball into this. What about this last one? So now I've got y equals 3 and x equals negative 2. So the thing I want you to recognize with this is that these are not actually in like the slope intercept form. These are actually a horizontal and vertical line. And if you're unsure, you can always just graph them. So if I just draw a really quick little sketch here. So here's my y equals 3 and here's my x equals negative 2. So just by looking at this now, and now that I see that they're horizontal and vertical, I can actually see that these are perpendicular. So I had to use a little bit of a different technique for horizontal and vertical lines, but if you just graph them out, you can, you can see what, what they should be in this case. So, okay, now what I want to do is I just want to pivot slightly to a different exercise. So in this set of exercises, lines A and B contain the given points. You'll see them in a second. And from those points, I wanted to determine if these lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So for this first one, so I've got these two points on A and I've got these two points on B. So basically what I want to do here is I want to use the slope formula. So you may or may not remember that. That's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm basically going to calculate the slope between the, these sets of points. So starting with line A, so let's see, line A, so I'm going to take 11 minus 10 over 2 minus 5, and I'm going to get 1 over negative 3. Okay, so I've got one slope. So now let's compare that to line B. So in this case, I'm going to have negative 18 minus 3 over negative 6 minus 1. And this is going to come out to negative 21 over negative 7, which ultimately will equal just positive 3. So now I've got negative 1 third and 3. So that, that would be two um, opposite reciprocal slopes. So these lines must be perpendicular. Okay. So for this last one, I highly recommend maybe pausing the video here and giving this a try on your own and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, so using the slope formula again, so starting with line A here. So I'll take negative 2 minus 5 over negative 7 minus negative 5. Okay, so that's going to equal negative 7 
over negative 2. All right, so now let's go ahead and do this again for line B. So for this one, I'll take 11 minus 9 over 0 minus negative 4. So that's going to give me 2 over 4, which is equal to 1 half. And so the question now is, are these parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, these are definitely neither, right? So I could, I could even rewrite this as positive 7 over 2. It doesn't matter. So I can tell just by looking at this now. These are neither. They're not the same. They're not opposite reciprocals. And so that's the way that those types of problems are going to work. Okay, so that covers this particular lesson. Hopefully that was helpful, guys. I'll catch you next time.